DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. Hey friends, welcome to Luchimi David, your host and producer at DevTech Media. This is your number one news channel where news trending videos, political news, gospel music as well as entertainment is concerned. There you go today, I've got an update to give out to the public out there. Watch this. Yeah, yes, exactly. On the line, we have Honorable Tutua Sandani Ngulube. Honorable Ngulube, welcome to the program and good morning. Good morning, how are you, kind of listeners, and how is Cabo Central this morning? Cabo Central is okay, and we're glad to have you. And uh, obviously, the debate, the conversation around uh, the constitutional issues. First of all, Onibong Gurube, let's first of all get the provision. As far as new ministries are concerned, when the president, uh, you know, uh, either he merges or he brings in new uh, ministries, what does the constitution say in that far as that provision and the president's yes, power when it comes to new ministries, either merging them or bringing in new ministries? So, I've had the um, discussion around the area. You remember in 2016 when the um, president Zungu formed the new ministry, the yeah. ministry of uh, religious affairs and national guidance, mm -hmm. And I think uh, uh, two other ministries, uh, we went to Parliament, Parliament approved, and, and, and the matter on the ministries became effective. Mm -hmm. I don't think myself that the President has violated any provision of the Constitution, because the provision in the Constitution says, subject to approval by the National Assembly. Yeah. Right? So the President can create a ministry, pending Parliament approving, mm -hmm. The president can appoint ministers pending, you know, approval by the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. So the issue here is if you look at Article 116 and Article 117 of the Constitution, the Constitution does not say that the president cannot appoint a minister to a ministry that has not yet been ratified by Parliament. There is no such a clause in 116 and 117. Mm -hmm. And I recall very well myself that in 2016, the same happened, the BF created the Ministry of Religious Affairs. And the motion was brought to Parliament, we debated it, and we passed it. And if you heard what the President did yesterday, the President advised these ministers who have been appointed and sworn in not to report for work until, you know, uh, Parliament approves or ratifies their, their, their ministry. ministry. So meaning that the President is cautious, is aware mm. that there is a provision of the law that requires that these ministers be approved by Parliament. So. Mm. I do not want to agree with Mr. John Sanga because Mr. John Sanga has made a very alarming statement that the president has breached the constitution. The president has not breached the constitution per se. Okay. The president has taken steps and now parliament must ratify. Mm -hmm. The job of parliament is to ratify. In fact, when the matter comes up in parliament, there is very little debate. There is even just a few comments that people may make and then eventually the UPND have more MPs on a bongulube uh, Mr. Sango's argument uh, is mostly in relation to uh, swearing in. He says you cannot swear in an individual to a ministry that doesn't exist. It is illegal. The oath they have taken is there for null and void and has no effect, he said. Maybe clarity on that one as well. Well, first of all, the power to appoint ministers lies the president. Mm -hmm. The power to swear in ministers lies with the president. The president has appointed ministers and has sworn them in. The only thing that needs to be done now is for parliament when they start sitting next week Tuesday. I know on Friday tomorrow the president will open parliament officially. Mm -hmm. Next week Tuesday the MPs will start debating the presidential speech and probably Wednesday when they debate motions, parliament will start debating the motion. I don't think there is any violation, in my understanding, as a lawyer. Mm. The violation would have been if the president does not have power to appoint, and if the president does not have power to do what, to swear in. Mm. The president has power to appoint and has power to, 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 to do what, to, to swear in. Mm. So you can't say that he has reached the constitution by swearing in minister. So it's a question, yes, there might be an irregularity. Mm. It might be irregular, but not illegal. The difference between irregular and illegal. Yes, so when, when there's an irregularity, it can be corrected, it can be regularized. Mm -hmm. 
when there's an illegality, it is now and void. It, 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 you have broken the law, it mm. must be reversed. Yeah. And also, John Sangwa says that the president must conduct a first swearing in ceremony. Yeah, there is nowhere exactly. in the law where the president is told to re swear the people that he swore in. Mm. All we need to do, all that needs to be done, is to allow President Hata Inde Ichinema to send to parliament the proposed ministry and the names of the proposed ministers, and parliament will ratify. Mm. That is all. <laughs> So, Nothing will change. In fact, mm. when Parliament ratifies, mm. they will even create a seat with this Minister of Technology and whatever will sit here. Because the President has power to merge mm. ministries or split them. And remember, the only part of the Constitution that we needed to deal with was the, was the part that being the President making two provinces. That's what Parliament must first say yes. Mm, yeah. Okay? And you remember we had deal number 10. And these are some of the problems we spoke about when we were addressing issues in Bill Number Ten. We were saying, look, this president and his, and his hands are tied to parliament. Some of these things he might never, he might fail to wait because you cannot have a president that everything he does he must go and ask, can I do this? Everything he wants to do, can I do this? And at the end of the day, the constitution is not so clear. That's why we, we are now saying that the president has not violated the constitution. He has not right. breached the constitution because the constitution does not say mm. the president cannot appoint a minister or swearing a minister to a minister that doesn't exist. Or the president should not swear in ministers until parliament has approved the minister. The constitution is silent. Mm. And that is why we are saying <clears throat> there is nothing illegal with what the president did. It was an irregularity which he quickly, quickly corrected yeah. by saying stop coming for it. Until this thing is approved by parliament, which I feel myself, All right. was a step taken by the president to correct the irregularity that was done. So, w w and in fact, yeah. mm. any anyone who is agreed to this decision can even go to court. Mm -hmm. So, so is, but let is, me is, the interpretation of the constitutional court. So, in Honorable Nguru, is there any basis again for those that are calling for impeachment? Like, oh, now the impeachment processes have to take effect? I don't know. You need to guide us because it seems in this country we are so quick to pronounce certain words uh, like impeachment. You know, first of all, I want to, I want to declare interest as, the, as the, the lawyer that has been a PF lawyer all along. Mm. And I hear arguments from UPND and UPND lawyers. So I want to speak now as a independent lawyer. Yes. Impeachment of the president does not just happen because the president has made a mistake. Impeachment of the president is a very serious step. It means you want to kick the president out of state house or drag him out of state house because he is not respecting the constitution. If the president refused to get the people and the name to parliament for ratification, would have said that he has breached the constitution and let him be do that, let, let him let him be impeached. Mm -hmm. But so far, there is nothing showing that the president must leave the child. There's nothing to show that if the president is not impeached, the constitution will not be respected. There is nothing. Right. So allow President Church to continue working. Mm -hmm. It's a learning game. And me I mentioned last time when I mentioned people thought I was sad. I said he's a new president. He needs to be given time to make mistakes so that he can learn. You need to be given time to consult. Today, we cannot afford to have every president that comes in is threatened with impeachment. He will never be free. He will right. end up making more mistakes than what he's supposed to do. So for now, I think all those calling for the impeachment of the president are wasting their time because there is no clear provision of the constitution they can point to and say he has violated this clause of the constitution. <laughs> president they take right now and make steps to correct that error by <laughs> saying... The minister should not go to, uh, to, the, to the offices, meaning that he has actually reversed the mistake. Mm. He has said, let Parliament do this, and I think I was written, even that it might take a few days to be done, seeing that the president has not blatantly mm. ignored the provisions of the Constitution. All right. Um, seemingly, Honorable, <clears throat> finally, as we let you go, uh, there's been noise around, or there's been debate, let me just reverse that, there's been debate around um, the, pres the president swearing in ministers in the newly created ministries. ministries. 
yet um, we've not heard anyone debate the renaming of certain ministries. Mm. Uh, no one has debated the the merging of certain mm. ministries mm. because we know that um, um, uh, education has been merged uh, from uh, is it we had general and, and higher. Uh, we had higher. Yeah. So now that is one, and there are other ministries that have uh, been religion re removed. Religion removed. Yet yeah. there's no debate there. But what does the constitution say? in terms of renaming of ministries? Yes, so what we have done in, the, in our constitution is we have given the president power to put ministries together or to split them. Mm -hmm. And if you have seen what President Day Church has done, he has reduced from 30 to 24. Right? Yeah. So he has actually indicated that look, all these ministries that he has touched, the ministers should not go for it. What that means is that parliament must approve, we must allow, because this is a house that will be passing the budget to send money to these ministries to mm. go and wait. So as far as I'm concerned, all the people's attention, the only attention is on the new ministries, but they are forgetting that the power to merge, to split, and to create new ministries all the three powers are given to the president and, and, and not parliament. When they say subjects to parliament, parliament is just this job of checks and balances. Mm -hmm. But the ultimate power still lies with the president and not with parliament. People must not mistake parliament as having power to create ministries. No. Or having power to make ministries. The power still remains with the president. And a very big congratulation to the youths of Zambia for listening to me and many other people that spoke to you going out in number without fear and intimidation to vote out criminals to vote out Edgar Lungu to vote out Boma Lusambo to vote out Chito Tela to vote out uh, 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 what is the name of that short one Campion Go to vote them out I want to say congratulations to you Youths of Zambia, you are shining example to the rest of the world. I want to say congratulations to you. And uh, Mr. Akainde Chilema, you deserve a big congratulation. Imagine losing election five good times. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in at DevTech Media. Remember, DevTech Media is the media that shares news, trending videos, political news, gospel music, as well as entertainment. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and that notification bell to be the very first person to receive the video and that will be produced and posted by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you.